shielded versus unshielded ethernet. You don't wanna waste your money, so which one do you need? Let's talk about it. Unshielded cable, or UTP, is standard ethernet cable. It's got four twisted pairs of wire inside a jacket. That's it, you get no extra protection. Shielded cable has a foil or metal braided shield wrapped around those pairs to protect against electromagnetic interference, EMI. Think of power lines, for example. 99% of the time, you're not gonna need shielded cable. But what about that 1%? Shielded cable does matter in certain scenarios. Industrial environments, you know, like factories with heavy machinery and motors, dense electrical areas like server rooms and data centers, and any high interference zones near radio transmitters or medical equipment. So imagine like the MRI lab at a hospital. If you're running unshielded CAT6 at home, even if you're going right past electrical panels or right by wireless access points, you're probably not gonna see any interference. But in a data center or a warehouse with a bunch of industrial equipment, that's where you wanna go with shielded cable. When you're using shielded ethernet, you also need shielded RJ45 connectors and properly grounded equipment at both ends. If you're not setting up the grounding correctly, you're just wasting your money on expensive cable. Shielded ethernet costs 30 to 40% more than unshielded. I like to use True Cable, and they've got 1,000 feet of unshielded CAT6 for 145 bucks, whereas 1,000 feet of shielded CAT6 is just over 200 bucks. Shielded cable is thicker and less flexible, so it's harder to work with, as my buddy Techno Tim found out on our Ghost Town install. Bottom line here, for most home and office installs, unshielded CAT6 is fine. You don't need to waste your money on shielded cable unless you're in an industrial environment, a data center, or someplace where you've actually measured interference problems.